This is the Financial News Network. I'm Francesca Tileco, and this is your technology sector update for February 13, 2012. TiVo fans get excited because the company announced today it has entered into a licensing agreement with AT&T AdWorks, a digital media company with an AT&T which will enable TiVo to improve elements of their research and advertising inventory offerings by incorporating anonymous and aggregate AT&T users and TiVo household viewing data. Now, speaking of television, Google will launch an update for YouTube on Google TV over the next few days, the company announced on a blog. The update will make it faster and easier to find great content and also add YouTube channel pages. In other news, Yahoo, who has been struggling the past months, said its product unit is about to undergo a major reorganization. The move will include a new structure and is being spearheaded by Chief Product Officer Blake Irving. Sources say Yahoo CEO Scott Thompson is considering bringing in a head of global advertising sales or revenue chief, as well as more top product executives in an effort to shake up Yahoo and also put his stamp on the company. Layoffs are likely part of the larger plan. Now, are you still playing Words with Friends in Farmville? Well, sorry to break it to you, but Personalized Media Communications has filed a patent suit in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Texas against Zynga, the largest game developer for infringement of four of PMC's patents. The complaint alleges that Zynga's social networking games, such as Words with Friends, Cityville, and Farmville, use PMC's patent technology, PMC's demanding a jury trial, as well as enhanced damages and attorney's fees because of deliberative willfulness of part of Zynga. Now, Microsoft has reset under passwords for India Store users following a hacker attack earlier today. In an email to its users, the company said credit card details and payment information were not compromised. Not a Microsoft fan and love your Apple products? Well, rejoice today because Apple rose $9 a share to reach $503, clearing a $500 a share mark for the first time in its history. The company also put out a statement saying the Fair Labor Association would conduct voluntary audits at Apple's request at several of the company's products assembly suppliers in China. For more updates, stay tuned to the Financial News Network. I'm Francesca Tioleco.